GPT-4 just got released last week and now this is their new flagship model that can reason across audio, vision and text in real time. But in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to test out its capability in programming. So we have GPT-4 open up here. So without further chat, let's actually get to the point and start building using GPT-4. So what we're going to do in today's video is we're going to start from really basic like a password manager using Python and then increase the difficulty step by step. So I'm going to go and create a password manager. Then I'm going to be working on a to do list app, which is going to be fully functional. And at the end, I'm going to go and test out one of the capabilities that they claim that is best at, which is image recognition. So I'm going to go and paste in a UI and I will try to remake that UI through GPT-40. So for the first test, I'm going to go and say create a password manager CLI app using python so let's actually see how good it actually is so the results are out and i'm quite surprised because it is quite comprehensive it gives you a guide of step by step setting up the whole setup and at the end it actually goes on and give you a complete code like this one here which is really mind-blowing so let's actually go and try to test this out whether it actually works or not so i'm gonna go and paste this inside my vs code here so I'm going to go and create a file app.py. Let's go and paste that here. So as you can see, the code is inside my VS code. So let's actually go and test it out. I was actually testing it out earlier and it worked really well. So what is this password manager all about? Using this app, you can add passwords or view them. So let's actually get started with adding a password. I'm going to go and select choice number one. That is going to ask you about the service that you want. Let me just zoom in a bit so you can have a clear view. And there you go. Now it's going to go and ask you about the service that you want. So I'm going to go and say that this is for the Google sign in. And after that, it's going to ask me the username. So it's going to be just user. As for the password, it's going to be just pass. And now that we have our password added to the list, let's actually go and do that. So I'm going to go and select option two here. There you go. The service is Google, the username is user, and the password is pass. With this, you have your very own personal password manager, and we build this within just a couple of minutes. GPT-40 is quite impressive. It's just blowing my mind off. Now let's move to the second test. So here at GPT-40, what I'm going to do is build a fully functional to-do list app. So I'm going to go and save build a fully functional to-do list app with GUI using Python. And let's go and hit enter and see whether it works or not. And just within a minute, it actually went on and gave us the whole code to create a to-do list app using Python. And I'm actually going to go and just copy this from here. Let's go to my VS code. I'm gonna go and create a new file here, which is gonna be to-do app.py. And I'm gonna go and paste the code right here. After that, what I'm gonna do is let's go and test it out. So let's go and run this file. And as you can see, we have a graphical user interface, although it is not that great, but to be able to build all this just within one minute from scratch is quite great. So let's actually go and try to add a task here. So I'm gonna go and write a task here, like I wanna do coding. So that's a task for the day. So add the task is gonna go up there. And let's say I wanna add another task here, which is gonna be um, maybe cooking. Let's go and add that task here. But what if I want to delete a task? But what if I want to delete a task? All I have to do is go and select one of these tasks here and hit delete the task and it just vanishes. And you even have the capability to save this task, which means next time you open up your to-do list app, these tasks will be available right here. Let's actually go and add a few tasks and then save them and test out whether it actually saves those or they vanish when we restart the app. So I'm going to go and say... I have to go with football as well. And that's it. Let's go and save the task here. Let's close this app. Let's go and run this app again. And there you go. All the tasks are showing right in here, which is quite great. And we build this to-do list app within a couple of minutes. This actually blows my mind off how great ChatGPT 4 is with coding. I mean, all of you developers and programmers out there, you will have to start working really hard to beat these AIs. And with that said, let's move to the last test, which is going to be the ChatGPT 4.0's image detection. Now in this test, what I want is to actually have a screenshot and then upload that here and test on the image recognition capabilities of 4.0 as well as how good it codes that image. So I'm going to go and select the UI from one of the websites like Upwork here. So I'm going to go and take a screenshot of this website and I'm going to go and upload that screenshot right here. And that's it. Now let's actually prompt it to generate the same web page. 
So I'm going to go and say create the same web page as shown in the image. Use HTML, Tailwind, and JavaScript to build this web page. And that's it. With that, let's go and hit enter and check whether it can actually work on images and generate the similar code for you or not. So let's go and see how it works. And again, within a minute, it gave all the steps and the code for us. So I'm gonna go and copy this code. And here on my VS code, I'm gonna go and create a file. So it's gonna be index.html. And here I'm gonna go and paste in that code. After that, let's go and check whether it actually works or not. So these are the results. I would say they are quite similar. If we go to the original page, we can see that there is an Upwork logo and all the headings, but we will have to direct GPT-40 to actually get this drop-down menus as well as the search bar. And it doesn't have this hero image, which is why the hero image is broken as well as the trusted by images are also broken. But it actually recognizes the text and it put the right text inside that prototype. So let's actually go and examine that. And here you can see that the hero image is broken, but this text is similar to the text that we just saw on the original website, as well as all the member items here are the carbon copy of the original website, which is quite good. And it even went on and mimicked the color scheme as well. And as I've been testing out different AI pair programming tools, as well as different models, which are good at coding, I would rate this 8.5 out of 10 because it really did a lot with just a really simple prompt and an image. And I think GPT-40 with this potential is going to be one of the beasts in AI pair programming or AI coding. I'm really looking forward to the evolution of GPT-40 and how it's going to affect the programming industries. So that wraps up our video for today. We went on and explored how good GPT-40 is. And we went on and tested it in multiple scenarios from basic password manager tool to a to-do list app and, and, and we went on and explored how good it actually is when it comes to image recognition. And it did a pretty good job at doing that. If you found this video insightful, hit the like button. Share your thoughts or experiences in the comments below. Ring the notification bell to never miss out on our daily updates. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video. Where we'll continue to copy your skills with the latest tech. Till then, stay curious and keep exploring.